So, what I'm recording right now will hopefully sound a lot better after I add a few simple settings using Audacity. So, what I'm recording right now will hopefully sound a lot better after I add a few simple settings using Audacity. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to improve your microphone quality in Audacity. Now the way I'm going to be showing you in this video is the exact same settings I use for all of my videos, and I've been using the same settings for about two years now, and it's never failed to impress. Of course, the mic quality does matter as well, However, even if you have a budget microphone, this will improve the quality and I recommend you try it out. Okay, so here we are on Audacity. The first thing I'm going to be doing is recording some raw audio so you know it's in Audacity and you will be able to tell the difference. So all I'm going to do is select the record button. So. What I'm recording right now will hopefully sound a lot better after I add a few simple settings using Audacity. Now there's a reason I left that 5 second gap at the start, for those that have watched my previous tutorials on Audacity you already know why. The reason I leave that 5 second gap and the reason I recommend you guys to do the same as well is so it allows your microphone to pick up the background noise. Then with that background noise, we can then remove it. Now something else to point out, I don't know if it's the same with other people, but my laptop generally gets louder and louder as I record. For example, this audio here, it's loud on the fan, but the fan's not as loud. It actually picks up more later on. So if that's the case with you as well, then I recommend when you're recording, just stay quiet during your recording session. Then let the mic pick up the background noise and remove it from that section. So from here, all I'm gonna do is left click and drag out right here. And I'm gonna go over to effect, select noise reduction. I'm gonna select get noise profile. And from here, you can press control A on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can come here and just select this box to highlight everything. Then head over to effect, noise reduction, and select OK. As you can see, it's now removed the background noise. It doesn't look major just yet, however, it has gone. So the next thing we're gonna do is highlight our uh, whole track again. This time head over to Effect and select Normalize and select OK. Your audio waveform will reduce, however, do not worry. Then head over to Effect, Compressor, and just select OK. You can copy my settings right here. Again, your audio waveform will reduce, there's nothing to worry about. Then head back over to Effect and select Normalize and select OK. And then there's two final things we'll be adding on. And first of all, it's going to be some bass. So head over to Effect and select Equalization. And I already have my preset set up. So you can see this is what I have. I have it on six decibels. Now this is gonna be different for everyone because everyone's pitch of voice is different. So when you first go to Select Curve, you're gonna see Bass Boost. So this can be your starting point. Start at nine decibels and just simply keep testing it. The way you can test it, select preview so you can hear how it sounds as you are adjusting it. But like I said, mine is at six decibels, which works for me. Once you've found one that you like, and of course you wanna save the preset like I have, come here where it says save or manage curves. And then as you can see, it'll be called unnamed. All you need to do is select rename so I've just called it that and select OK and OK. Notice if I select Curve, that will now always be there. So I'm gonna add on my normal one, which is Bass Voice, and I'm gonna select OK. Then I'm gonna head back over to Equalization and we're gonna add some treble. Again, same steps apply. I already have my um, preset set up. You would head over to Treble Boost. And as you can see, this is it by default and then you can play around with it. Once you've found one that you'd like, head over to Save or Manage Curves, do that same thing and just simply save it. So I'm going to use my one right here. If you want to copy the settings, by all means you can. I believe this is probably minus, or this is on 5 decibels, and I'm going to select OK. Final step I'm going to be doing is coming back over to Effect and Normalize and selecting OK. And this is now my audio completed. So we'll play it through and see what we've got.
So, what I'm recording right now will hopefully sound a lot better after I add a few simple settings using Audacity. And there we go, that's now what we've got, and to be honest I believe it is a lot more crisper, there's now no background noise or little background noise, there's also bass to the voice and also some treble so the words do sound as clear. Now bear in mind I've been using the same settings for nearly two to three years and it's never failed on me so I recommend you guys to use the same ones and of course adjust the bass and the treble to your needs. Mm -hmm. 